Hello, hello, Mordimers here, and today I would like to show you one more game from Magnus Carlsen Invitational 2020. And as you know, this is tournament played online, the best of the best tournament so far in the chess history. $250,000 as a prize, $70,000 for the first uh, player. And today I would like to show you the game between Ding Liren, uh, the best Chinese player, and his ranking in standard chess 2790. But in rapid at 2836. So very, very strong player. He's 27 years old and he's gonna play as white. And his opponent, Maxime Vachiel Lagraf. So uh, he is the best French player. He's uh, ranking in the standard chess 2778. So both of them are the elite in the top 10 players in the world. Uh, but in rapid, uh, Maxime has even higher ranking 2860 so definitely very strong and the match between the players contains four games but in this case uh, both of the players uh, got uh, two points so it was a draw and in this case we have armageddon game and armageddon game uh, is played in the blitz format but white have five minutes and black has only four minutes and white have to win the game and black it's enough if they draw and once they draw that means they won the match and they're gonna get two points and the um, loser gonna get one point so that's the format so without further ado let's jump into the game it's very interesting and remember Maxim Vasil Lagraf needs only a draw we have d4 we have d5 c4 c6 so slav defense and it's first surprise because Maxim Vasil Lagraf is a specialist maybe the best in the world in the Greenfield defense he's the, his signature how he play as black and here he needs only a draw and he go for Slav defense and Slav Dingley and knows I think everything about Slav defense uh, because he played it plenty of times and in last game in the candidates tournament against Fabiano Caruana he played completely new lines which Caruana prepared very carefully and he spent more than one hour to figure out how to win and he won that game if you don't know this game i really recommend it. it's it's very beautiful very nice game uh, over there click there watch after this game really i really recommend that uh, but here we have knight on f3 by ding liren and knight on f6 by maxim vasil lagraf knight c3 and now bishop f5 and this is the position which everybody in studio uh, just commented okay that is a blunder jan gustafsson say hey hey that is the blunder but what is the idea uh the idea is if white play queen on b3 then put a lot of pressure on d5 and also on b7 and it's not quite easy for black to play but actually jose raul capablanca played that couple of times and he won and he won couple of games later um he he just improved that uh, but i will just show you because the game was played in 1916 against janowski for the first time and after queen on b6 uh, exchanging the queens janowski uh, just say okay you have this double pawn that's the weakness uh, and Capablanca said, okay, and how, what are you gonna play? And after e3, knight on c6, bishop on d2 developing. What uh, Capablanca did is bishop on d7, and then in the very positional game, he just won against Janowski. And now, Chernin versus Karpov. Just 30 years ago, 28 years ago, Chernin won in the same position against Karpov. Okay, Anatoly Karpov lose as white uh, this position. So it's not so clear uh, how to, you know, how to play that. It's not like, you know, it's, it's losing. 
However, Ding Liren uh, play absolutely the best move here. C takes on D5. And this is how you play that. And now, if C takes on D5, Jan Gustafsson was right. Queen on B3 is winning. And now there is a lot of pressure on uh, D pawn. There is a lot of pressure on uh, B7. What to play? If you play something like B6, it's just losing. E4 and... Uh, Black cannot stand that. For example, D takes on E4, a knight to this beautiful spot, and now look at this. This is a checkmate, that's the first threat. So E6, now Bishop B5, that looks bad already, yeah? Uh, knight B on D7, now Bishop G5, another pin. So we have a pin here, pin there, very dangerous position here, okay? Bishop e7, and now white gonna win the, the piece and the game. Bishop f6, g takes on f6, now winning the piece, and what to play now? Uh, a6 is possible, but now double check, uh, check again, uh, king can escape, and now bishop c6, uh, and d5, defending the bishop, and everything is okay here, okay? E takes on d5, queen d5, uh, bishop is under attack, so uh, winning the piece and uh, and yeah, sure, f winning the game. So uh, it's right. So b6 definitely doesn't work. Queen on b6, uh, much better, but it's still losing the pawn. Knight on d5, okay? And now even black play something like queen on b3. Uh, it's actually first take the knight with check. Uh, and then a takes on b3 and white have actually extra pawn uh, the rook is already developed so can move and uh, then yeah it's very comfortable especially with this pass pawn which gonna be protected very comfortable game for white so uh, definitely that's true however after c takes on d5 maxim play uh, also a good move here knight on d5 okay this was played in the game and here again Ding Liren play queen on b3 and everybody seems like very surprised that Maxim goes for you know losing line and I saw in the studio the only person who understood what is going on was Fabiano Caruana uh, there were a couple of grandmasters there uh, but Fabiano Caruana really just said okay it's it's worse line but this is blitz and white still have to play very precise so it's not like okay it's winning you checkmate your opponent then uh, and you just win easily that's not true you still have to play very very precise uh, if knight on c3 now uh, then b takes on c3 queen b6 knight d2 with the plan of e4 uh, and very very comfortable game you know gaining all the center that would be very very comfortable so uh, queen on b6 was played by um uh, by maxim vasil lagraf uh, we have knight takes on d5 and what to play now uh queen on b3 is possible but after knight on c7 king d8 a takes on b3 king c7 and now bishop f4 with check king has to move uh have to move to c otherwise uh, this pawn would hangings if the if the knight don't have the king's protection so uh, e3 and then white stands just just awesome here okay it's a much better pos position for white now uh, the knight can jump to the center the the bishop can can come the rook already you know have the development so everything is uh, very good for for white also knight on d2 and e4 is possible instead of d3 so uh white gonna control the center and the game gonna be very very comfortable that was possible but maxim vasil lagraf wanted to complicate the game and he play c takes on d5 going for some tricks we have queen d5 white won the central pawn so definitely uh, they are in very good position now uh, we have e6 by Maxim, queen goes back to b3, and now knight c6, and what to play now? Uh, we have e3, 
a very natural move. If queen on b6, actually, it looks like, okay, I'm gonna play that, but keep in mind that in this kind of positions, uh, usually nobody wants to, you know, exchange the queens, because then rook can have, you know, semi-open file and gonna be operational. So, for example, if queen on b6 now, then a takes on b6, let, let's say uh, a3, knight b4, and this is already very dangerous, this rook also watching uh, at a2, so already have to be very careful what to play bishop b5 with check okay king e7 now castle hide the king and now knight c2 actually winning the exchange rook b1 knight d4 and uh, winning the exchange or the piece so uh, definitely white want to lose exchange and black are totally fine here with exchange extra they should draw uh, easily maybe even try to to win the game and Ding Liren, of course, didn't go for this line. He just played e3. e3 and asked Black, what are you going to play now? What's your plan here? Uh, queen on b4, maybe? Queen on b3? Doesn't really work. Nothing works here. Maxim Vasil Lagraf play knight on b4. And in this position, actually, Jan Nepomniashi, who also were commenting a couple of grandmasters, you know, Jan Nepomniashi, Alexander Grishuk, Fabiano Caruana, uh, all of them commented, Jan Gustafsson, all of them uh, commented this game. And uh, sometimes they exchange uh, quite, quite funny comments. So Jan Nepomniashi said that Maxim uh, won't uh, provoke, actually provoke Ding Liren to play some brilliant game. And also he said that in Slav, Ding Liren uh, will always figure out what is going on. Even if he do doesn't know the line, he's so familiar with this opening that he gonna figure out. Of course, he referred to the game I mentioned before uh, in the candidates where Ding Liren won with Caru Caruana. Also, very, very incredible game. But here, knight on b4 was uh, played by uh, Maxime Vasil Lagraf. So he goes for uh, some tricks. We have queen on a4, and now a king on d8 is possible, king on e7 is possible, and also knight on c6 also could be possible, okay? Uh, queen on c6 is impossible because of the pin, so uh, not the option. What to play here? So black, of course, don't want to go back because black have to attack as well. If not, then they're gonna be uh, losing game. So uh, king on d8 looks pretty natural, however, in this position, uh, what engine suggests is king on e7. That's the best move. However, it's not so easy here. More complicated, yes, but it's still not so easy. Knight on e5, knight c2 with check, king d1. Now queen c7 controlling d7. So there are no uh, checkmates here. Then there are no tricks here. You know, uh, some checkmates, not, not possible. So also uh, controlling uh, C2. So it looks like black are totally fine. But the problem is G4, okay? Harassing this bishop. Uh, bishop E4, F3. If bishop is moved, then actually the, the knight is fall. So uh, for example, F6. Uh, and now F takes on E4, uh, taking the rook. Now knight F3 and everything is right here. Uh, rook c8, this looks uh, pretty dangerous, but just bishop on d2 and uh, everything is fine, okay? Just just one line and uh, white stands pretty good here, okay? For now, the, the, the rook is defended, uh, but after king on f7, making a space for the bishop, knight e1. And this rook is not trapped yet because rook f2, but bishop e2 and this knight gonna fall now, okay? Uh, b3 and it's gonna fall. But Maxim didn't go for uh, this complicated line and he played more natural move for human king on d8, okay? So not blocking the bishop. Now bishop is uh, mobile and uh, uh, can defend the, the knight, which is quite logical. We have bishop on d2. And now what to play? What to play? Uh, actually, the best move for black would be f6. It's important move because now the knight can't jump to e5. 
okay and that is deadly threat because this is a checkmate threat here so black would be in very very bad situation so that was the last chance and after rook on c1 controlling c2 uh a5 a5 and now this position of black is uh, definitely worse but it's still possible to play if something like a3 then the knight actually can jump here check the king fork with the rook uh, the bishop can come to d3 after and the king has to stay in the center so uh, that would be very interesting uh, if maxim played that okay i think this was his last chance for to fight for a draw uh, especially in the blitz game however he go it looks like he play for the win and he play knight c2 with check we have king on e2 and now uh, knight a1 is impossible because we have this beautiful pin so uh, the queen would be lost so not possible the only move for black actually is queen on a6 but it's also losing uh, queen a6 uh, b takes on e6 rook c1 now knight b4 knight d5 king e8 there are some uh, threats of course here and white stands better white have uh, extra pawn uh, also these pawns are are so bad and uh, and yeah white should win this but it's still a lot to play of course uh, but in this position after king on e2 maxime vachil lagrave make the final mistake and play queen on b2 which looks pretty good but actually it's losing and it's losing because of one move which i mentioned before knight e5 knight e5 if f6 that there would be no knight e5 and the game could continue ding liren would have to uh, think very hard what to play next uh, but in this case he has nothing because checkmate is coming and you can't do anything b5 this is what happened in the game queen a5 king e8 queen c7 checkmate is coming and uh, yeah nothing can be done here so this is why maxim vasil lagraf resigned the game so uh that's very very surprised game uh i know this is a blitz but uh, still very very strange that maxim went for such a bad line uh I don't know, he thought uh, Ding Liren will not know how to refute this and he prepared that or, or he just, you know, uh, misclick, pre-move maybe bishop f5 but also shouldn't because usually Ding Liren goes for knight on c3, he don't play e3 so uh, that's also... I'm not really sure we would have to ask uh, Maxim what happened in that game. I haven't seen interview about that game, so um, um, I, I, I don't know at that moment. And that, yeah, that's all for today. If you like this video, press like. If for some reason you don't like, press unlike. And uh, if you don't want to miss another games, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.